It's Wild 94.1, wild941.com. Joey Franchise in here, my dude. MGK. Yes, sir. He's, yes, sir. He's so lit right now. We're day I ones. We're day ones. My right here. day one dude right here. Uh, I was just reminiscing about a time when we were in Connecticut, like years ago when the Lace Up mixtape came out. And this dude hanging from the ceiling is like, to see him now with a hot record, bad things, it just cracked billboard. Like, going number one. It's going number one. And let me tell you, man, it's, it's, a, it. it's a glorious time for people in Cleveland. You got the Cavs that just won a championship. Yeah. You got the Indians in the World Series. And yeah. my man MGK is about to about drop to get music. number one. So it's all number ones. This How year. are you basking in all this glory right now, dog? Uh, well, I sent my championship ring to Ben Baller, so that's one way that I'm basking in it. So I'll be receiving <laughs> my own, like... Bedazzled out. Oh yeah, because you, yeah, you, you, on. you gotta get your full yeah, but on I'm bling getting, with yeah, that. I'm getting mine like crazy though. It's gotta be. I'm trying to walk in and you see like LeBron's ring on the one side of the club, and then you see my ring shining on the other. Dude, they need to, they need to put. Like, they need to be torn. Like, uh. they gotta put your jersey up in the in the, in the rafters. When one day, man. Done, one day. Man. One day. One day. Always putting on for Cleveland. Let me tell you, whenever I hear it till I die, I feel like I am from Cleveland every time I hear it, dog. Yeah, yeah. Swear to God, man. You know what? You, I should have. I should have copyrighted the, the phrase, the land, because they... Oh, everybody's running oh, with that. Oh, man, they ran with that. They <laughs> ran with that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you got you you, ju you dropped General Admission. I love the album. I feel like uh, fans and, you know, just people who are just new to you got to actually see who you really are and got a deeper look into who MGK was. What was it like putting that album together and just dropping it the way you did? Uh, putting that album together was probably, like, the shittiest point in my life, to be honest. That was, like, one of the, like... Uh, most inconfident, most vulnerable, you know, trying to find my voice points in my life. And I think that when I kind of like translated all those thoughts on paper, it came across more as like a journal. Yeah. And so when I put that journal out, I think, I mean, you know, in, in the same way that when I had read Kurt's journal or something like that, you know, you just like when you see somebody for who they really, really are and there is just no, no you know, like shield in front of your your, your feelings and you're right. just straight vulnerable. I feel like it just like connects in a in a way that few artists are able to connect because, you know, you don't, it's not easy for everyone to do that. And it's not like a thing that commonly happens in, you know, our lifetimes. We only have a couple artists ever that have hit our souls like that. So I feel like I've made that connection and uh, my confidence because of, you know, having an album like that out has made me become a whole different artist than we've seen uh, from me in the past couple of years. So like, you know, it's gotta feel good. I always said like, it's gotta feel good. If you're, you know, a Drake and you're waking up and you know you have a Take Care, you know, you have like that album, that's yeah. like a classic album, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're 50, you got Get Rich or Die Trying. If you're M, you got, you know, Eminem, like you got almost every album. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's gotta feel good when you have one of those. And I, I didn't feel that yet. Even with Lace Up the Album, I was like, I didn't feel it. And then General Admission came and I was like, okay, like, you can't tell me nothing as far as me as a, as a lyricist or me as a, a songwriter. And you know, like, like, put me up there and, and if you need, you know, proof, that project is proof. And so and having that in my arsenal like made me a whole different type of beast now looking forward to the start album. And that was a very big passion project, uh, General Admission, because I could tell, because even, you know, I would see you go out promoting the album and it's like, yo, if you don't like this album, you really have no soul. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it was, uh, that's like real, that. that's yeah, real, you so know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like, how do you, how are you going to approach this third album this time around? I think it's going to be the first album I do like having fun, you know what I'm saying? I've never like done an album like while I was having fun ever. Which sounds, you know, depressing, but it's it's true. I think like a lot of like, a lot of great things come from pain. But I think like, I because I had never done anything, you know, out of pure, you know, elation. I think getting to hear something new with a whole new emotion and stuff too behind it makes you like excited. You know what I'm saying? So I hear the new music and I'm like stoked on it. I hear bad things and I'm like, this is dope. Like, you know, and it was ins and it was inspired oddly, but. I, well, I don't even want to tell the story. <laughs> Come on, man. No, nah, it was just one of those things. Like, I, like I, I, I honestly think the pre-hook that I wrote yeah. in, in that song is like one of the best things I've, I've ever written. In that, and 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 is a, it's, like it, it's that line where I say, "I want you forever, even when we're not together." Scars on my body, I can look at you whenever. Like that's like a very like dark but powerful and beautiful statement. Like you know what I mean? Like I had got this text message from this girl who, you know, who I was seeing, and um, a couple of days later she was like. She texted me, she was like, hey, I just got out the shower, like there were bruises on my arm or whatever. For like, we had like, you know, like rough, passionate sex a couple right. of days prior to that. And like, it happens. 
whatever, but like we were miles and hundreds and hundreds of miles away from each other. I was on one end of the country and she was on the other end of the country. Right. And she had had these, you know, she looked down when she was getting out of the shower and she like saw a piece of me. You know what I'm saying? Like she saw like That's I was, me, I was with, and so like, you know, it's like, yeah, to the average that may be like weird or something, but to me it's like beautiful. You know what I mean? It's like something like, I don't know, it's something that connection is really special because it's so specific and like, you know, not everyone, you're not stoked on bruises from everyone. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's like, you know, this is like, you, you this, look is, a, at it and it's this, like, is, this is a me and you thing. You know what I'm right. saying? And it, and that pain is like this uh, lustful pain. You want that pain. You know what I'm saying? So I, but just, but just taking like capturing that emotion and putting it in those lines, like, I don't know, man. I just think it's cool. I just think it's, I think, it's, I think my songwriting is growing, you know? And, and, and trust me, we're watching it, man, and it's, like I said, it's really amazing to see it come full force, like, you know, the way it is. Um, now, the song Bad Things is actually a sample from Fastball yeah, out yeah. of my head. Like, mm -hmm. what is also inspiring, like some, of the, 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 like, some of the new music that you're putting together now? Um, well, I definitely think, like, I, I learned on this, I learned that, you know, uh, taking from the past is kind of like a really key thing in people's careers. Like, you know, from Jay-Z to J. Cole to Kanye to Eminem, they're like, you know, Eminem was sing for the moment, you know what I mean? Like what a great rendition great. of Aerosmith, you know? And so like, I, I don't know. I think like I'm stuck in such a, all these past eras, like of how like genius those songs were. Well, it's just like, okay, well they're just, take some of that and spread it to our generation. So I think that, you know, like being comfortable sampling and stuff more often um, is what is inspiring some of the newer music because I think that, you know, if we're just so into the past, why don't we bring some of the past into the now, right. the present. And on the last album we got to see Kid Rock, which I love that record yeah. you have with Kid Rock, which is I love awesome. that record because he booked me on his cruise ship and it was like the gnarliest cruise ride of my <laughs> life. And you know what I mean? Like, that dude is gnarly, dude. And the people, these fans are gnarly. I've been offered the craziest drugs of my life on that cruise <laughs> ship that I will never consume in. But just the fact that the people... See, I live by curiosity you when you, know you know tell me saying? these like, stories. <laughs> just gnarly. Who are you looking to look forward to working with? Like, you know, with, you know, we got the... You have Kid Rock. Like, anywhere, anybody else in rock that you're looking forward to working with? In rock? Um... I always, I mean, you know, me and Blink-182 just can't seem to escape Big each fan. other. Me, we just, like, every that time we're in the same set, we'll, we just, I think we'll keep it at this, man. I'll just always continue, continue to keep performing with them when we're in the same city, and I'll continue to, like, cover their songs in my concerts. <laughs> but we do, like, we, we do, I mean, shit, man. Every time we're in the same city, me and Blink always, like, play together. Dude. It's cool. It's, like, really tight. That's awesome. It's really tight. Because, like, they, they have, they know that I, like, you know, carry, hold the torch. Of well. course, yeah. So that's cool that like Travis and Mark always like call on me to, if you know, they need a guest to vocalist. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, now it's awesome too. Are you, are you happy? Like also that fact that you can't really put, we can't really put you in a in a category as far as just a genre. Like you, you spit, like you rage, like there is no genre for you. Yeah. Like, we, or if there is, what do we call it? Besides like Machine and Kelly, I don't know. Um. What'd you call Prince? Just a symbol. Genius call me Machine Gun Kelly, man. There you go. Machine Gun Kelly sounds like the coolest genre of music I ever heard anyway, man. I think just that. I was thinking that the other day already. You know, like, I don't know. I was always I was thinking about that. I was like, what is the legacy going to be? And I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just like, maybe that name is just going to be really strong, man. I mean, you, dude, I think, I think Bad Things is going to go number one. And like, dude, imagine someone like me having a number one. Huge. That's crazy. And, and, and to our, see you from and, the and, beginning. In our generation, though, like, we had some badasses that got number ones that we looked, looked up to that were, like, right. our icons. But, like, in our generation, is there anyone that's been, like, number one that you're, like, oh, my God, I can't believe he's number one. Like, that's scary, dude. That's nuts. Imagine it's Machine surreal. Gun Kelly with the number one dog, me at the VMAs. What? Let's go. Oh Bad things, God. number one. Let's Stop. make it happen. Yeah, and man. And yo, you're dabbling in acting. You're just in a movie with uh, James Franco and... Uh, Dave Franco. D Dave Franco, yes. Dave Franco, the, the other Franco. I call him the other Franco. There's a third Franco, by the way. There's another Franco? <laughs> yeah. Is he like just as awesome as the other two? Dude, he's like a sculptor, <laughs> which is so yo, awesome. Yo, what, what is it about the Francos? Like, I, we yeah. know that James is James and he does uh -huh. his thing. Like, what was it working with? Bruh, me and Dave, man, first off, coolest dude ever. Me and Dave would like, 
would ride to work every day when we were shooting that movie Nerve, and we would listen to Howard Stern every day. Wow. And, like, I mean, this dude, man, he's, like, the illest problem solver, smoothest dude, super, like, loyal to his girlfriend. It was just, like, wow. Yeah, man, he was, like, he's, like, the world's <laughs> most, he's the world's most genuine guy. So you do the acting thing, you did that movie, uh, you also did uh, the show Roadies on Showtime, yep. and you played Wes. What was it like, you know, being a roadie on the show, and you know, and you usually going out and just performing these songs, and actually being the guy behind the scenes? What was it like in that transition? Uh, really cool, man, really like freeing, because like uh, when I'm on the road, usually I'm angry. And, but when when we're at, when Wes was on the road, he yeah. was very happy. Yes. But I'm not angry this time on the road as me, like my real self. This is the happiest I've ever been in my life this this this, this year. Are you are you really nice at making espressos? Oh, dude, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm a I'm a I'm lightweight a fool with the espressos. Like I'll, my grain level is so on point. Like I'll have you so high off that calf. Oh, I, I love some good caffeine, man. Yeah. I'm with it. Machine Gun Kelly is Wild 94 with Joey Franchise, my dude. When can we expect the album? Do you have a date? You know what? Number one first, and then uh, and then and then when you go number one, man, the world's your oyster. Oh yeah, it's dude. a wrap. You can call iTunes directly and say, "Yo, I'm dropping tomorrow, and it's going up." Cool, man. Number, number one, one, Joey Franchise. I said it here first. This is the first first place I said it. Number one. Number you heard one. It right here, Wild ninety four one, Wild ninety four one dot com. My brother MGK, EST. Ah! <laughs> we out here. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.